Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Sondering Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for the 12th of April 2024. We'll be using the journey to Oz and Wonderland again for uh, like the third day in a row. Anyway, let's we'll see what's going on. Alright my lovely, so all your cards are on the table. We do have five major arcanas and we have two synchronicities showing up. We have 333888, so you might be seeing those throughout the day. Anyway, the best part of your day, we start out with the Eight of Swords. The Four of Wands. The Eight of Wands. The Lovers reversed. The Two of Wands reversed. <laughs> and the Ten of Cups. I like this because you go from um, it being restricted, being stuck, and you see movement. You disconnect from being stuck. <laughs> and it's like full steam ahead. It, it's like somebody has, um, you know, shot the starting gun or... Uh, wave the starting flag you're off to the race ready set go <laughs> and that's actually a positive thing so we're making a progress yay now we'll see if it actually shows up well why you were stuck or how you were stuck um, but the worst part of your day, we have the uh, devil in the reverse, the queen of pentacles in the reverse, and the two of pentacles. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Eight of Swords. Have you been self-sabotaging? Or more importantly, um, have you been doubting yourself? And that's what you're juggling. That's what you're struggling with. It's not so much that you are uh, physically stuck, but you've self-imposed kind of a uh, restriction for you not to move forward not to get the beneficial gain. So you've internally been, you know, a back and forth on this. Self-doubt, self-pity, self-restriction, self-limitation. Oh, okay. So the only one that's stopping you is you. Or at least that's the way it feels. And you might still be dealing with that, contending with that. Um, but it feels like there's an opportunity for a, a change, hence uh, you moving forward. So we'll see if that's decisions, etc. Um, so your obstacle, or how to get over your obstacle. We start out with a magician. It's a good way to start out. We have the Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. The Page of Wands, the Three of Wands in the reverse, the Nine of Cups in the reverse, the Seven of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Nine of Wands in the reverse, Justice, the Empress, the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Knight of Cups in the reverse, and the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you're able to create and forge a new path forward 
to where your efforts are not in vain. You're actually full steam ahead. Ready, set, go. You know, you're off to the races. Um, whereas before, you were not able to see that. You were not able to execute that. Or you've had, you know, moments where you've not been able to do that. Despite your attempts to do so. But you're going to be met with success at some point during the day um, without having to overtax yourself uh, simply because you've shifted the energy. Cause and effect, people. Cause and effect. Like I said, you've literally um, built this bridge this path through. Why? Is because you've released and let go of the negativity, the self-doubt, the self-limitations. You're finally able uh, to stop planning and trying to execute and having it fall back in your face um, and blow up in your face simply because you have a place to build from. You're no longer doubting. Instead, um, you know, you get to work. You don't start questioning whether or not it'll work or not work or if you're doing the right thing or, you know, you're not second guessing yourself. You're not having to mull things over. You're just like, all right, yeah, I'm going to do this and you go do it. Okay, so you get out of your own way. <laughs> you stop self-sabotaging. You start, you stop putting limits and restrictions and everything um, on it. You literally free yourself. Ready, set, go. Yeah. Yeah, I get this. You're off to the races kind of energy. Ready, set, go. So maybe you were inadvertently holding yourself back in an area simply because you weren't ready. And until you process things and struggled a little bit, that's where you were going to stay. And now you're like, nope, I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, you create this um, pathway, this idea, this uh, energy to forge ahead and push through it and simply because whatever was blocking you internally before is no longer there. You remove the blockage. Hmm. Well, all right. And that's good. Um, and this could be something uh, very huge that you, maybe you've been stuck on for a while. And let's face it, we're still in Mercury retrograde. So a lot of us are going to have um, things moving slowly, things going wrong. Um, we're going to have moments where we're going to have to pause. Some of those are safety reasons. So the fact that this is one of those days where that lets up and you're able to um, start to move freely again because uh, a blockage or a self-imposed limitation, which also could be the influence of Mercury retrograde, um, eases up is fantastic. So utilize it well. Well, you've got the momentum, while well, you've got the time, get stuff done because <laughs> perhaps that energy will change tomorrow or uh, soon enough. So use it while you have it. All right, my lovelies. I did add up all your cards. Everything here adds up to 130, which also reduces to four, which is your um, foundation, your stability and strategy. Yeah. You get rid of the, the blockage. You free yourself. Literally the eight of swords that... Uh, uh, we start out on, you get rid of it. <laughs> Why? Because we also end on the four of pentacles in the reverse. You release that. <laughs> okay. And it still feels like it's an internal um, struggle. Maybe not so much, um, you know, other people holding you back. Maybe universal energy, like I said, um, Mercury retrograde. Uh, and because we have four for numerology, that also means we have four, four, four showing up as a synchronicity. You might see that as well. Okay, so you got a chance to stabilize a little bit. One of those, yeah. Ready, set, go. Yeah. 
get your feet under you get to feel uh, uh, balanced a little bit more you can actually get stuff done remember use it wisely for those of you that do like the astrology portion um, the moon in Gemini sextiles Mercury's in Aries focus on short-term plans make tweaks where you can take action fast and get things done and this is what we see right here ready set go all right, my lovelies, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. And if this resonates for you, by means, give me a big thumbs up. It's a quick way to let me know that you resonate with the reading. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.